previously on Minecraft Story Mode. Everything in the universe starts out as just a block. What comes of those blocks is up to those who weed them. And in every block, there lies the potential to create or destroy. Our friends have traveled far and wide in search of the Order of the Stone. And a way to stop the Wither Storm for good. But even well-laid plans can go awry. The strong can grow weak. And beloved heroes can fall. And though some glimmer of hope may remain, the threat to this world, to its very existence, is far from over. Where am I? What's going on? What is all this? What's that awful smell? Come on, I'm gonna get you out of here. What? Who are you? Jesse! Jesse! Where are you? Say something, Jesse! We're coming! No way! No way! You found Gabriel? Who's Gabriel? We need to get out of here now! This way! And Gabriel? Did you say Gabriel? Look out! Those Endermen are running the wrong way! They'll be killed! Soren? I can't stand by and watch. I'd be condemning them to death! Soren, what do you think you're doing? These Endermen are running directly into danger! You're putting us in danger every second you just stand there! Jesse! They're falling behind! Actually, you gotta move faster! She's too sick! This is the best we can do! They're not gonna be able to outrun it! Not on foot! We gotta find a way to move faster! We're all gonna be caught in the tractor beam! Can we build a portal? If somebody has the right materials... We don't. I haven't seen Obsidian since the end. Then we'll have to use the next best thing. Everybody, get on! We got this. We'll take the reins, and they can just hang on. I'll take Gabriel. Then I've got Petra. Hold on, this might be a bumpy ride. Come on, horses! Follow me! This is 
Jesse, look out! The worst of my life! Axel, stop backseat steering! I can't help it. I'm getting horse sick. It's gaining on us! We're not gonna make it! Just keep it together, Gabriel! Watch out! The monster! It's chasing me! It's chasing all of us! Come any closer! I'm trying! Actually, freaking made it. Jesse, I'm worried about Gabriel. If he was inside the Wither Storm, he could have Wither Sickness, like me. I don't know. You've never acted the way he's been acting. Hey, how are you feeling? I, I'm afraid I don't feel much like myself at the moment. Gabriel, it really is you. Oh. I knew if anybody could outrun death, it would be you. Uh, who are you people? It's me, Eligard. Come on. Old friend, don't you recognize us? It's Soren. We've known each other for a very long time. The Witherstorm did something to him. You mean that thing we just rode on? No, that was a horse. <sighs> what a terrible turn of events. You! You're the one who rescued me! Tell me, please, what is going on? I remember only blackness. And then, suddenly you were there. You were caught in the Witherstorm, trapped. For how long? Long enough that it did this to you. It felt like an eternity. It was dark and foul, and I was sure I was a goner. Well, you aren't. You made it back alive. Which is more than I can say for some of us. Oh, Magnus. For a second there, I almost managed to forget. You guys talking about Magnus? I still can't believe he's gone. How? How could this have happened? To lose not just a friend, but a member of the Order of the Stone! Guys, it was my fault. I'm the one who took Magnus's armor. But you couldn't have known what was going to happen. She's right. You can't blame yourself, Jesse. Mm, I'm surprised he lasted as long as he did. Ah! Being emotional is getting us nowhere! What I want to know is what happened out there today. Why is that thing still alive? My instructions were simple. 
You were the one in the middle of everything. What went wrong? All we managed to do is make things worse. The command block is still out there, Soren. Blast! And now, to make matters worse, we've gone from one weather storm to three! Our plan was a total failure! I should have cast the foul thing into the abyss. Why didn't I destroy that cursed block ages ago? So, is the command block controlling all three wither well, storms? Oh, why are you asking me? Am I expected to know every last thing in the universe? <sighs> I need a moment to think. Is he always like this? You have no idea. That jacket! I recognize it! Lucas always wears that jacket. No. There were other people wearing that very same jacket when I was thrown from the monster! Ugh. It hurts just to think about. Just put it out of your mind. Jesse, if what Gabriel said is true... I mean, do you think? I thought for sure they were gone, but if they were just trapped in the Wither Storm... Look, even if your friends are out there somewhere, there's nothing you can do for them. What? No. If they're alive, I have to go after them. They might need me, Jesse. Whoa. I suddenly feel really dizzy. Easy, easy. I gotcha. Petra, how are you doing? You feeling any better? Better is relative. If I just sit here and don't move or breathe, it's almost bearable. Man, if it wasn't for Ivor, she wouldn't even be like this. Ah, no kidding. That's not exactly true. Ivor built the Wither, sure, but he couldn't have done it without that skull I gave him. If I'd just taken a second to think about it, all I cared about was getting that stupid diamond. This isn't all on you, and you know it. I was in on the deal, too. But I brought that skull back solo. I was Ivor's henchman. Well, I was your henchman. So, based on the transitive property of henchmen... Just know, I'm gonna do everything I can to make this right. Petra, I know this isn't easy to hear. You're too sick to be going anywhere. I'm not that sick. Maybe you should rest in this cave for a while. I mean, it's safe, defensible. If I say I'm fine, then I'm <coughs> fine. If you try to keep going, I'm afraid you're not going to make it. No. No way. I'm not a quitter. We're not saying you are. I can do this, guys. Petra, you need to keep fighting. There's no time to sit around relaxing in some cave. Jesse. Thanks, Jesse. Knew you'd understand. Just give me a little time to catch my breath, and I'll be fine. This is a bad idea, Jesse. Yeah, well, it's Petra's call to make. Gravel? No. Dirt? <clears throat> Don't think so. <sighs> Not gonna lie, but we've dealt with worse, right? Have we? How's it going? Tell me, Jesse, who is this person? She keeps insulting me. One minute I think I'm talking to a friend, the next I'm being made fun of. She's only the greatest engineer ever to put her hands to redstone. Sounds impressive. What can I say? It is. And how do I know her exactly? I sense we have a history, but I feel I need a little reminder. She's your friend. She's been your friend for a very long time. Really? Really? You go way back. It isn't working. He doesn't remember anything. Talk to him about your past. Something only you would know about. Mm. Like what? We haven't seen each other for so long. I don't know what would even help. Tell him more about the Order. Who you guys were, how you got together, anything. Well, we came together because we loved adventure. And we split apart because... It doesn't matter now. But in between, we did some amazing things together. Amazing, I tell you. We used to think we were invincible. And perhaps we were. 
Thank you for sharing that with me. And Jesse, thank you too. You've been a big help here. I, uh, I need to repay your kindness. I'm not sure how exactly, but I want to express my gratitude. It's no problem. I'd have done it for anyone. All the same, you have my thanks. Now then, tell me more about this Order of the Stone. Oh, I'm not even sure where to start. Hey, buddy. You doing okay? Of course you are. Wish I could say the same for everyone else. Petra, you sure you're okay? I'm fine, Jesse. I just need to rest for a bit. Some leftover cobblestone might come in handy. you came along. Just don't tell Reuben I said that. He might get jealous. Lucas, what are you doing? I told you. I'm going after my friends. I thought the other ocelots were dead. But if they're not, I need to go find them. Look, I am grateful to you guys for bringing me this far. But I can't leave them alone out there. Not with three wither storms raging. You can't just up and leave, Lucas. You're part of our team. And you saying that just reminds me that I left my team. But Lucas... Look, you and me, we've made a pretty good team so far. I'd even call us friends. So I hope you'll understand why I need to go help my old friends. They do it for me. Same way you'd go back for any of your friends. But we are helping them. Saving the world saves them too. Isn't that just... kind of abstract? No. The number one thing you can do for them is to make sure we defeat those wither storms. I... I guess you got a point. Okay. I'll stay. I just... I just really hope they're all right. Thanks. <laughs> Sorry, Ruben. I don't really feel like company. <laughs> Ruben! me like that, okay? I hope Gabriel will be okay. I mean, he's supposed to be Gabriel the warrior, but instead he's... you saw. Yeah, I guess none of the Order are how we imagine them. world needs us, Reuben. So much of it has already been reduced to bedrock, and it's up to us to save the rest of it. Well, maybe that is a lot of pressure for just a person and a pig, but we have to find a way. That's what I said, isn't it? Oh, just as you once helped us before. This isn't about the past. It's about the future. There are three of those things now. You say that like it's my fault. It is your fault. Oh, take responsibility for what, Soren? I did that by locking the command block away. So only you could use it. Ah, oh, do you still not realize how dangerous it is? Oh, the bitter irony. Soren the architect. I do not need lectures from you. That's to be a... Maybe you should leave, Ivor. If I do that, 
the world falls. Oh, 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 I forgot. You have a plan. Why am I even bothering? Why are you? Soren, you need to listen to me. Oh, what good has ever come of that? What are you doing here, Ivor? Come to lock me in another room? I came to offer my help. Ha! He's been following us. It's not like that. You need to hear me out. What you don't understand is, you are all in very grave danger. <laughs> Obviously! No, I mean specifically this group. The Witherstorm isn't acting randomly. It's following Gabriel. Gabriel? You see, I may have programmed it to follow his amulet. You mean the Order's amulet? Yes, Soren. That amulet! That explains why the Witherstorm's been following us. I don't understand. Gabriel only just reappeared. I have the amulet, Ivor. I have all along. What? I... I didn't know. Ah, oh, Ivor, you fool. You've created a monster that's following Jesse, and it's only getting stronger. You don't think I realize that? Nothing can stop those things. Nothing even hurts them. Well, except Enderman. Enderman? Jesse's right. The Wither's gaze passed over them, and they went wild. If I hadn't seen it with my own eyes... We actually just saw a bunch of Endermen pull blocks off a Witherstorm. So... So, enough of them working together might be able to destroy a Witherstorm entirely. It's a promising concept, at least in theory. If I'm seeing all the pieces correctly. Could you coordinate the Endermen somehow? Make them attack all at once? If I know my Endermen, all we'd need to do is get them into the storm's vicinity. In fact, there's probably more than enough of them still in my fortress. An unintended side effect of you flooding the end. This is just like the old days, Soren. You and your crazy ideas... Hush, Ivor, for once! Huh. Question is, how to bring the storms and the Endermen together? Endermen aren't pets. They don't follow orders. At least, not for mere mortals. We know for a fact the Witherstorm will follow the amulet. So, if we take the amulet back to your fortress where the Endermen are... Yes! Yes, that's it! We'll lead them straight into a massive trap! If we can't bring the Endermen to the Witherstorms, we bring the Witherstorms to the Endermen. Just one problem. You're forgetting about the command block! Ugh. Yes. It's clear now that no weapon can destroy it. Not even a Formidabomb. Actually, I may have a solution to that. You see, when I first took possession of the command block... You mean, stole it? Yes, well, I created a failsafe. A backup plan, just in case. Well, I'd say just in case is here. And I'm inclined to agree. Are you saying you know how to destroy the command block? I'm saying there might be a way. What way? An enchanting book. One that contains the power of the command block itself. Use it to enchant a weapon, and you'll be able to smash the command block to bits. Forever! Yes. Yes, that's it. It could very well solve all our problems. But what are we waiting for? Let's go get that book. Just one problem. It's at my secret lab, which is... Sort of far away. How far could it possibly be? Let's just say it's the farthest place a person can travel before being utterly... Oh dear, what was that? I can't believe it found us so quickly. We're not safe anywhere, are we? Well, we can't stand around and wait for it. So what do we do? Guys, I have a plan. We're going to Ivor's secret laboratory to try to craft a... Ivor? Well, I'll be. It is you. A pleasure, as always, Eligard. Hello. My name is Gabriel. 
Somebody pinch me. Anyway, Ivor's figured out that Witherstorms are drawn to the amulet, so we're gonna lure them back to Soren's fortress and destroy the command block with an enchanted super weapon. You figured all that out just now? The point is we need to get moving. We aren't safe. Not as long as we have that amulet. I'll take it. You can't. I can, and I have to. But you could be killed. We all could, Olivia. Axel, are you sure? Of course not. But you'll have three Witherstorms chasing you wherever you go. Yeah, if things get too intense, I'll duck into the nether or something. I'm tired of always being the selfish one. You just go make that super weapon. I'll meet you back at Soren's fortress. Well, Axel shouldn't have to do this alone. I'm going with him. I appreciate that. Jesse, I'm going with him too. Like you said, I need to keep fighting. Well, I'm going with Jesse. I, I pledge to help, and that's what I must do. My friends are still out there somewhere, and you must do this for them. Everyone, take good care of yourselves. You too. Hey, Jesse. Let's try our handshake again, just once for the road. The builder bump? You got it. <laughs> I'll see you at Soren's, all right? Not if I see you first. Unless you have a mine cart. everyone onward that's really not necessary I'm just trying to be encouraging Our 
rear end is profoundly sore. Huh. I feel like we've been riding forever. I am telling you, we cannot go to the Far Lands. They're not just the edge of our world, but the limits of our comprehension. Oh, please. The Far Lands are a happy accident. Nature's way of keeping life interesting. No, no, no. They are perilous and unpredictable. Pearl in noise, floating points. These are not matters to be toyed with. You know, I think I've heard of the Far Lands before. I'd be surprised if you hadn't. The Far Lands lie at the very edge of all things, where logic gives way to chaos. They're a dangerous place to visit, and a ridiculous place to construct a laboratory. <laughs> Just wait until you see it. Do those two never stop arguing? I don't know. I'm too hungry to care. Yeah, I'm starving. We all are. Maybe we should turn back? This isn't the time. Swamps are too dangerous. You never know what might be lurking around. What was that? My stomach. All right, let's just rest for a minute. Everyone's hungry, and we could use a breather. We mustn't linger long. The Far Lands are just beyond this swamp. So this could be our last chance to find food? <laughs> People become kind of useless when they're hungry, huh? Everyone doing okay? Not really. We're starving. Potato, you're coming with me. It's not much, but it'll help. Like they say, two potatoes is better than one. I think they say that. Hey, Jesse, have you found any food? I should probably take what I have back to the group. Everyone. It isn't worth it, Jesse. Witches hate trespassers. Besides, there are plenty of potatoes around. Is that a witch? Jesse, we shouldn't be here. Witches are very strong. And they know these swamps far better than I. Let's get out of here. Good idea. Guys! Jesse, did you find any food? Actually, yeah, some potatoes, but it'll have to wait. There's a witch nearby. We saw her creeping through the swamp. And... <laughs> She's here! <laughs> oh, no, you don't. Watch out for her potions. old thing. Oh no, skeletons! <laughs> Witches and skeletons? That's a really bad combination. You're right. Her potions combined with their arrows? Oh, we'll all be killed. We need to distract them. Get out of here. Fine, but how? The rest of you, go! I'll hold them off. What? Ivor, no! There's no time to argue. Just head for the corner of the glitch wall! The what wall? Hey, you witch! You're not the only one who can throw a potion! Come on! Hold on to your potatoes!
guys, I think we lost them for... Wow! I see your wow and raise you a whoa. It's like we're at the edge of the world. Actually, we seem to be at the corner of it. Welcome to the Far Lands, my friend. I'd feel a lot better about going into this crazy wall thingy if I wasn't still hungry. Hey, at least Jesse found those potatoes. That might be the saddest sentence ever uttered. <gasps> Quite a sight, isn't it? Stretching skyward in all its glory, like a monument to chaos itself. Soren, have you been here before? Not here specifically, but I have visited the Far Lands. The Order traveled far and wide during our heyday. Incredible. You can say that again. Incredible. My fault. Should have seen that coming. How can Ivor live here? I mean, it's one thing to build a wool world inside the end, but this... Oh, I doubt he lives here. He most likely comes here only for his most secretive research. Whatever Ivor is hiding in here, it will be extremely well guarded. This way, I suspect. I'd feel better about this if Axel and Petra were here. I know what you mean. Come on! Would appear so. A massive one from the looks of it. If Ivor used the command block to build this, it could hold unspeakable peril. So, maybe we should not just wander into the world's hardest maze without a guide. Unfortunately, this seems to be the only way forward. There has to be another way. A secret door, or I don't know, some way around. There's no way we're going into some crazy maze that Ivor built to keep people away. We'll find some other way through. Best decision you've made all day. I wasn't standing here when this fell. Flowers, but no trees. Guess it's a farlands thing. Ivor needs to take better care of this place. On guard! There's too many! We can't fight them all! <sighs> Guys! Caught in the vines! That worked, I suppose. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, but now what? We're all separated. <sighs> Let's just head that way and find a place where the pads connect. Sure hope they don't get lost in there. I hope I don't get lost in there.
Hey, that must be Ivor's lab. Wish it was a little closer. I first met Ruben near a waterfall like this. Hope the little guy's okay. Safe to say, the Far Lands are strange. just gets weirder and weirder.
Olivia! <laughs> see a way across. Huh, redstone blocks, some pistons. I wonder what this thing's supposed to be. Hello? Anyone? Olivia, is that you? Jesse, there you are. <coughs> I thought I'd never find you. All those dead ends back there. Any sign of the others? Not yet. This maze? We don't have time for this. Who even knows where the others are by now? <laughs> I mean, the clock's ticking here, Jesse. Yet we're lost in some elaborate puzzle. We really need to figure out what happened to the others. I wonder if they found some other way across this gaping bottomless pit. I think it drops forever. What about this thing? Could it get us across? It's some kind of flying barge. It would probably get us to the other side. But it's in really bad shape. And it's really complicated. You can fix it though, right? I don't know. I think it's out of my league. I wish I'd had more time to study with Eligard. Come on, you'll figure it out. You know you always do. <sighs> Fine. I'll take a look. This layout doesn't even make any sense. What was Ivor thinking? Or maybe it's just me. I mean... Eligard herself said I don't have what it takes to be a great engineer. She was right, I just can't hack it. I might as well be a carrot farmer. Who cares what she said? I do. She's the greatest redstone engineer ever. She's in the Order of the Stone. Sure, but the Order are still people, just like us. Right, just like us. I mean... How are we the ones saving the world when even they don't have what it takes? Soren and Ivor are always at each other's throats. The greatest warrior in history doesn't remember his own name. None of them give Eligard any respect. And Magnus lost his life trying to fight this. If the Order can't do this, how are we supposed to? How are we supposed to do anything? We're nobody. You know what? We're better than them. Better than the Order? I don't know about that. I mean, they defeated an Ender Dragon. Can you name even one thing we've done right? 
And I don't mean managing to stay alive. Something that actually matters. Well, we won that building contest at Endercon. That was a contest, Jesse. Right, and the competition was stiff. Just think what we can do when there's nobody even watching. I like that way of looking at it. Ah, all right. I'll try it one more time. Wait a second. I think I see what he was trying to do. Jesse, take this piston, craft it into a sticky piston, then place it on the other side of the barge, along with a redstone block. You got all that? I think so. Looks like Ivor kept some redstone dust handy. And a slime ball. She's going to be just fine. Sometimes people just need a pep talk. The sooner the better. a redstone block. Hey, Olivia. You put the block and piston on the barge yet? No. Well, this thing won't start without them. Get right on it. Okay, let's put the redstone block where it's supposed to go and place these pistons. Holy cow, we did it! We need flint and steel to get it started. I'm proud of you, Olivia. Thanks, Jesse. And thanks for everything you said just before. It really helped. No problemo. It must be this way! Run! Go, go, go! Quick, onto the barge! Jesse! That was close. Everyone okay? For the moment, I remember something. Didn't Eligard build a machine like this once? Yes, in the nether. <clears throat> and you were terrified of flying on it! What? Stuff and nonsense. <laughs> No, no, I'm positive. I'm afraid of flying too, Soren. Really? Ah! No, not really. Just wanted to see if you'd bite. Well, that was exciting. Uh, by exciting, I assume you mean absurd and unnecessary. At least we made it. Let's go see what he's hiding in there. So 
many books. We should be careful. This place could be booby-trapped. Let's just start looking for the enchanting book. A brief history of cubism. Crafting for noobs, revised. A collector's guide to precious gems. None of these are enchanting books. Hey, Lucas, having any luck? No. I just... I've been thinking about other stuff, actually. Stuff such as... You know, Gabriel, the ocelots, people getting wither sickness and amnesia. <sighs> Don't get me wrong. I'm glad I came with you. I just... I'm just scared for everyone. For them, for us, for everybody, really. You're a good friend, Lucas. The fact that you're always thinking about others, it says a lot. Well, I like my friends. I guess that's why they're friends in the first place, right? Either that or you like that they say nice things about you. <laughs> Ivor, on the other hand, I think his only friends were books. I guess being an angry loner leaves you a lot of time to read. <laughs> Tell me about it. How to train your slime, the various uses of mushroom stew, Potionology Volume 24? Are any of them the enchanting book? I don't think so. Olivia, any luck? Not really. Ivor has too many books, and there's too few of us looking. How did we end up all split up like this? I feel like we're spreading ourselves too thin. I miss how things used to be. That first night we all spent together, that was kind of fun, almost. Look, we might be spread thin, but we're all still a team. That's how teams work. Hey, you almost said teamwork. See, we're still funny. We can still get things done. I guess being split up just means we can be in more places at once, right? Kind of like the wither storm. Let's just forget that metaphor. How I learned to stop worrying and love mining. The unabridged redstone encyclopedia. Zombies and pigs and intimate memoir. None of these seem to be enchanting books either. Find anything yet? Huh, in this mess? Uh, it's as though Ivor learned nothing from my lectures on organizational methodology. If only he hadn't tried to fight those cursed witches, he could just tell us where the book is. Coming here was his idea. He should be here for it. He was just doing what I asked. It wasn't his fault we got separated, not really. Is that supposed to make me feel better? There's neither rhyme nor reason to how these books are stored. Finding anything here is impossible. Tedious, maybe. Possible? No way. Fine, I will continue this monotonous search. But I reserve my right to grumble about it. It's a deal. Reuben, what are you doing? <coughs> yeah, well, you're gonna get yourself cooked. I've told you before, stay away from lava. <coughs> Twenty thousand blocks under the sea. Learn to succeed by thinking inside the box? I think I'm in the wrong part of the house. Hmm, wonder what's in there. Wood planks, those will be useful. This Ivor character, I'm recalling that he knew something about potions. Could one of these stop the wither monsters? I'm remembering correctly, am I not? That's what started this whole mess, actually, a potion. Then perhaps a potion can end it. 
His potions just aren't strong enough. Oh, I see. Potion of blindness, a potion of dullness, a potion of nausea. None of these will help me. Jesse, am I going to be all right? Or is this just who I am now? Always struggling to remember what I was. I don't want to lie to you, Gabriel. You might never be the same again. Thank you for being honest with me, Jeffrey. It's Jesse. Uh, right. Makes sense that Ivor would have a crafting table. Makes sense that Ivor would have a crafting table. Hey, Olivia, I think there's some redstone over here. Looks like a circuit. We probably just need a lever to power it. Too bad I don't have one. Yeah, no lever, no functioning circuit. First, I'll need some sticks. Okay, got the sticks. There we go. Good old fashioned lever. It was made for it, which it was. Let's see what this sucker does. A secret passageway. Why would you build a secret passage in a house nobody ever visits? More like, why wouldn't you? Secret passageways are cool. Good point. What the? Are you guys okay? We're fine, but the lever isn't working anymore. Stay there! We'll head down and see what we can find! Whoa! What is all this? Ha! Huh, incredible! He's gathered them all in one place! Gathered... what, exactly? The treasures of the Order of the Stone! Stories I could tell about these dusty old things. I don't see any enchanting books, though. Maybe through there? Uh, locked, of course. There must be some way to open it. Prismarine crystals? You gotta be kidding me! Prismarine crystals? You gotta be kidding me! Now that's pretty bright. Packed ice. I've only ever heard of this stuff. I think those are gas tears. No way, is that what I think it is? So why does Ivor have the treasures of the Order of the Stone? Did he steal them? 
No, 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 no. We, we let him keep them when we split up. You let him keep your treasures? Frankly, Jesse, it's a long story. So why does Ivor have the treasures of the Order of the Stone? Did he steal them? No, 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 no. We, we let him keep them when we split up. You let him keep your treasures? Frankly, Jesse, it's a long story. Sorry, is this the actual Ender Dragon egg? Uh, alas, yes. The only thing that remains of our final adventure together. Jesse, what are you doing? Uh, taking this really cool, rare item? We might need it to unlock that door. Uh, very well. Just be careful with it. See? These gas tears, they're super hard to get. You don't know the half of it. It was our first official mission as the Order of the Stone. We fought those ghasts for hours, and these tears were our reward. Wow. Just gotta borrow this. So where'd this packed ice come from? We brought it back from the Ice Plains Spikes biome. It was colder there than anywhere we'd ever been, but <laughs> Magnus slipped so many times our laughter kept us warm. After that, we knew we were ready to face the Ender Dragon. Ooh, cold and slippery. These are prismarine crystals. You can only get these underwater, right? Precisely. We nearly ran out of oxygen getting these. <laughs> Eligard had to use a spare bucket just to grab a few extra breaths. We used most of these to craft that sea lantern over there. This is all that remained. Prismarine is such a cool word. Prismarine. Am I crazy or is this a sea lantern? Ah! The very same one the Order built all those years ago. Oh, we were so green back then. It looks just as bright as on the day we crafted it. Sea Lantern, huh? Aha! A hopper! Why is Ivor hiding a hopper in his basement? Looks like a regular hopper that's hooked up to a bunch of redstone circuitry. Man, Ivor sure does love his puzzles. Any idea how this hopper thing's supposed to work? I have no clue. Ivor can be very confounding when he wants to be. Huh, five slots. Gassed tears. So let's try them here. The Ender Dragon egg, so cool. Let's try it here. A sea lantern. In you get packed ice. What? Huh? Those were the right objects, but I guess it was the wrong order. Soren said the Order got these gas tears on their very first mission together. Soren said this lantern was crafted from prismarine crystals. Prismarine, the Order used these crystals to make the sea lantern. Soren said they got this ice just before fighting the Ender Dragon. You solved it. But how in the world did you know what order to put them in? There were 120 possible combinations. Oh, well, you know, more or less. Everything I needed was in your stories. Nice work, Jesse. You know, I often give Ivor a hard time, but for all his complaining, his time with the order clearly meant a great deal to him. Yeah, I guess so. Anyway, 
Let's go get that enchanting book. By the stars, the Ender Dragon, with replica Ender crystals and all. Wow, I always wondered what it looked like. Hmm, no way out. Ruben, do you know what to do here? Oh, well, it was worth a shot. Soren, what's this thing supposed to be? It appears to be an homage to our battle with the Ender Dragon. Despite his anger, Ivor never stopped being fond of us. <laughs> he was a big part of our team, after all. He knows his days in the Order were his finest. This is the same Ender Dragon you and the Order of the Stone defeated, right? <laughs> no, Jesse. It's just a model. Right, that's my point. If you tell me about the battle, it can help me solve the puzzle. Huh. <sighs> If only you'd been there. It was a fight for the ages. We'd spent weeks preparing for our greatest battle ever. But even so, the Ender Dragon was stronger than even I had imagined. I realized that it was drawing strength from the Ender Crystals, and that the crystals had to be destroyed. I hit the first with a perfectly placed arrow. The second I destroyed by launching myself on the shockwave of Magnus' TNT. Using only my strength and my wiles, I steered the foul beast toward the third crystal. I flew the dragon directly toward the final crystal. Only then... Gabriel deliver his famous final blow. Yeah. We became heroes, and eventually, legends. The greatest the world has ever known. You did all that? Indeed I did. They didn't call us the Order of the Stone for nothing. I wonder if that story will help me solve this puzzle. So Soren rode the dragon, huh? Interesting. Soren said he rode on the dragon's back. Hmm. Huh. Hey, Reuben, give me a boost, will ya? Hey, Reuben, give me a boost, will ya?
You did it! There's the book. Wait, aren't those the Ender Crystals? Like, the real ones? No, it, it can't be. Not here. Not after all this time. But those things were destroyed in your big, heroic battle with the Ender Dragon, right, Sora? I kept them. The fool actually kept them. He looked me in the eye and swore he was going to dispose of them. Soren, you said destroying these crystals was the key to defeating the Ender Dragon. You did kill the Ender Dragon, right? Jesse, this isn't... this isn't what it looks like. Our story, uh, the, the story, it's, it's mostly true. I swear, I swear it. Whatever you're thinking, I promise I can explain. So what really happened, Soren? You didn't destroy the Ender Crystals. I, I can't. We swore never to speak of it. I think it's time to start talking. I'm afraid I haven't been honest with you, Jesse. We did defeat the Ender Dragon, but it wasn't exactly like I said. How not exactly? We got rid of it, but we didn't kill it, to say. In fact, we didn't even fight it. We didn't even try. So what did you do to it? We didn't do anything. We used that damned command block. You used the command block to defeat the Ender Dragon? I'm afraid so. Understand, when I found that blasted block, we were nobodies. But with its help, we became stronger. Faster, we could do so much more. The others had no idea what I was doing. Yet the more I used it, the more we came to depend on it. I knew it was only so long before someone would find out. a plan. I would use the command block to blink the Ender Dragon out of existence. <laughs> Securing our status as legends forever. We told the world we defeated the dragon. And the rest is history. Would you do that? You you lied, even to your closest friends. All I can say is I was a fool. So you finally admit it. Soren, how could you? I How long have you guys been standing there? Long enough that they heard the whole thing. So we're liars. All of us. Yeah. I think you are. You didn't think you could keep it secret forever, did you, Zorin? The truth hurts, doesn't it? But Ivor... Why? Is this why you left the Order? Because Zorin lied? Because they all did. Zorin, Gabriel, Magnus, Eligard. They agreed to keep this a secret. How conniving of us. And you? You agreed to stay quiet, too in exchange for all of our treasures. <gasps> I've technically never told anybody. Jesse discovered the truth on his own. So this whole thing, this wither you unleashed, has all been to teach the Order a lesson? To teach the world a lesson. To show you who the Order really are. Liars, cowards. And now, they know. Yes. I suppose they do. Well, it worked. We know the truth. And if we don't deal with that wither storm that you created, Ivor, none of it will matter. Look, my wither plan obviously backfired. You think? I didn't know we'd end up with three of those things tearing the world apart. For a moment, 
nearly forgot. Well, they are. And while we sit around talking about your dysfunctional order of liars, those things are still out there wrecking the world. Jesse's right. Destroying the command block is all that matters anymore. How ironic that the best thing the command block gave us is the very means to destroy it. Spare us the poetry. It's not your strong suit. I've had this book for years. Never thought I'd actually have to use it. So the enchanting book, what do we do with it? You craft a weapon, then put it on an anvil. Follow me. I'll show you. Ivor, I'm sorry. About everything. Yes, well, it doesn't matter. Grab some ingredients and craft a weapon. I'll show you how to enchant it. Sweet. Let's see what Ivor's got in here. Let's see, there's a bunch of crafting stuff and... Diamond score! So, I can craft whatever I want, huh? Anything at all. Just wait till you enchant it. Let's see what this enchanting book is made of. Behold, my enchanted diamond pickaxe. <laughs> yes, that should do the job nicely. But if you're fighting those wither monsters head on, you'll want better armor too. I enchanted these for the Order. They're about as strong as it comes. I'm even able to withstand TNT. Any preference? I have eight different sets to choose from. And believe me, they're all excellent. You won't go wrong, whatever you choose. All right, let me take a look at them. It's all quite durable and sturdy. They won't stop damage, but they'll help. Some of these were even the adamantine impervium. Even harder to damage than it is to pronounce. I call this the Star Shield. No object in the universe can penetrate it. Even the Ender Dragon would have fled from this in terror. I call this one the Shield of Infinity. In no small part because it's infinitely cool. This is Swordbreaker. All but the strongest of weapons would shatter against it. I call this one the Ender Defender. Very strong against an Enderman's attack. That's the Redstone Riot. Engineered to be virtually indestructible. This one is named Golden Goliath. As bright and powerful as the sun itself.
adamantine impervium, even harder to damage than it is to pronounce. I call this one the Ender Defender. Very strong against an Enderman's attack. All right, this is the set. Yes, a fine choice. Now go ahead and put it on. some for your friends as well. Sounds good to me. Wow, cool armor, Jesse. Thanks. And there's plenty to go around. Now let's get back to Soren's fortress and see how the Witherstorms are doing against those Endermen. the Endermen have dismantled those things by now? Or am I just confused? It's not just you. Something's wrong. Jesse, over here! Axel! Petra, you're okay! You guys made it! Nice freaking armor, by the way. Hey, Petra. Are you alright? No. I'm barely hanging on. I should have stayed in that cave. Except you saved my butt like a dozen times. He's exaggerating. I found a couple potions to keep me going. Yeah. But I'm all out. Guys, where's Eligard? Oh man, you won't believe it. See, at first it all went down like you said. Ride for Zorin's fortress, etc., etc. Then we realized... The Endermen, they're not angry enough. I mean, some of them are, but a lot of them are just standing around moving blocks. You know. Oh, They've kept the main weather storm busy, but one of the smaller ones started attacking us. Yeah, so Eligard ran off to fight that thing all by herself. She's fighting a weather storm alone. Yep, kept saying something about paying for the mistakes of the past, whatever that means. If a fellow member of the Order of the of the uh, Order of the Stone is out there fighting, then I belong out there too. Gabriel, no, no, I told you you're not who you think you are. My name is Gabriel the Warrior. And he's running the wrong way. Oh, for goodness sake. I'm not letting that idiot get himself killed. Gabriel, come back here. <sighs> Without the command block, none of them stands a chance. Say what now? Why do they need the command block? I'll explain later. Fine. <coughs> Petra! Jesse. Guys. I can't do this anymore. You need to go on without me. What? No! I fought as hard as I could, but this is where it ends for me. Petra, we've got this. You stay outside, okay? Yeah. Alright. But please, just destroy that command block. For me. Believe me, I will. So what's the plan? I mean, I know we gotta go in there, but... Do we just go for it, or what? You need to find a way for me to use this. Whoa. That is, without question, the coolest thing I have ever, ever seen. Me too. Nice, Jesse. Oh, and I brought you some armor, Axel. Here. Nice! I was feeling a little left out. Guys, 
let's go kick some command block butt. Anyone see the command block? We need to get more Endermen focused on the Wither Storm! How do you make Endermen focus? I can't even make myself focus. We, we shouldn't be here. None of this is going according to plan. Soren, what are you doing? I, uh, you know, I've, I've really enjoyed meeting you all, but... Soren! Did Soren just run away? Soren, come back here! Dude, what a chicken! So much for the mighty Order of the Stone. It doesn't matter. We have work to do. We need to get those Endermen to attack it! The tractor beam! Jesse, that's it! Make them chase you into the tractor beam! How do you like that, you purple-eyed freak? Yes, they're falling for it! Snowballs? Yeah, I found them near the cave. Here. All right, let's see how you like this. Uh oh. Come and get me. Ruben, can you give me a little help? <laughs> nice one, Ruben. need to find you a way up. Or build you a way up. That's it. E everyone, empty your pockets. Let's see. I've got redstone and cobblestone from Ivor's armory. I have fireworks and TNT from Boomtown. I've got pistons, repeaters, some leftover slime from the maze. I have some wool from Soren's place. Oh. And I still have that mine cart. That's got to be enough to make something, right? I mean... If we use the TNT on, say... A mine cart. Or those pistons. And we do have all that cobblestone. Maybe we could build a ramp? Or even go straight up vertically. Guys, check it out. We use the pistons and some redstone to build a flying machine. It'll be just like the one we saw in Redstonia. Then when I'm high enough, I ignite the TNT and blast myself into the wither storm. <laughs> Heck yeah! I love that idea! So what are we waiting for? Let's hurry up and... Oh, look out! Ah! Axel! Lucas, I need to...
need a hand here. I could do better than that. Hey, Witherstorm! Over here! Lucas. Now let's hurry up and build this thing. Eyes on me, you great big bully! <clears throat> you guys done yet? Just need a few more seconds. Okay, it's finished. Quick, climb on! And Jesse? I know you can do this. So do I. We all do. Thanks, guys. It means a lot. Now go demolish that command block. <laughs> Ruben, this is no place for a... surprise me like that. On the other hand, I'm kind of glad not to be alone right here. Just stay close, okay? Whoa, I recognize these people. Weapon, don't fail me now. Here, Reuben. I mean it this time.
Ruben, I thought I told you to stay put. Beam. Hey, you! Ruben, stay out of sight. If anything goes wrong, I don't want you caught up in it. Bet you can't catch me! Why did I have to look down? You. Time to put an end to this thing once and for. Ruben, hold on, buddy. Ruben! No! Ah! Jesse, are you all right? We thought you were... I mean, I didn't think you'd made it. I'm fine, but what about you guys? Is everyone okay? We're great, Jesse. We're more than great. The wither storms are gone! It was so freaking awesome. They're gonna be talking about you forever. Guys, look! My sickness is gone! Oh, Petra! I'm so happy for you! Hey, hey! Do you guys hear something? Reuben! <gasps> oh no! Reuben! You're gonna be fine, you hear me? Come on, Reuben, say something. Get up, Reuben, get up. You can't just give up on me. Not now.
Jesse, I am... I am so sorry. He was a great pig. People used to look at me like that once, Jesse. Having my memory restored has been both a blessing and a curse. Perhaps they deserve to know the truth about the Order. All those lies we told them. Maybe I should finally come clean. You're right. They do deserve to know. We all owe a great debt to Jesse and his friends. But I owe a debt to you people as well. Which is why... There is something I want to tell you. About the Order. The Order of the Stone... Is not what you all believed. We were... Frauds. We used the command block to falsify our legacy. We were no heroes. So it is time for the world to celebrate new heroes. Real heroes. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. I know you think I'm up here because I saved the world or something, but the truth is, I didn't do it alone. Far from it. You see, I had my friends with me. There was Olivia, Axel, Petra, Lucas. They never gave up. On the world, or on me? Well, maybe once or twice. If they only knew. It's crazy to think my friends and I started out in a treehouse, and now we've been to some of the weirdest places in the world. I mean, come on, we went to the Far Lands. There was this gigantic wall and a huge maze and a model of the Ender Dragon that, well, you just had to be there. But when all was said and done, you know what really mattered? My hero, Reuben the Pig. He may have seemed like just a pig to most people, but he was so much more. And at the end of the day, he saved us all. For Reuben! Jesse, this Nether Star is all that remained when the Wither Storm was destroyed. Would you please do the honors?
This is gonna be so cool. to introduce to you the new Order of the Stone. And so it was that a new Order of the Stone was born. One whose adventures were only just beginning. For though the world had been saved, and the command block destroyed, there are many more worlds than just this one. <laughs> 